Okay, new topic. I uh, hope I get better at this. Um, I did a dry run through yesterday on my other, my second Ubuntu install that I ended up not needing. And later I was able to, earlier, uh, earlier today I was able to um, kind of figure out what was going on. That, you know, I, I digress. Let's get to this. What I ended up buying fries yesterday to try it because I was running out of batteries here like crazy it took too long to charge and uh, I run out of disk space pretty quickly because I've used a lot of disk space just to put <laughs> my uh, John Adams <laughs> DVD on it I probably should not do that it displays pretty well on this droid or at least you used to before the update Okay, so this is a Logitech QuickCam 260. It's not necessarily listed here, as far as I know, on, on this webpage. And again, I did a dry run of this, so I think that the instructions are fairly good. They could be a little bit intimidating to start with. So uh, what I will do is just try to run through it. First, I, I had a little bit of trouble just trying to find out, you know, what, <laughs> where to go. Uh, the deal is it ends up, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that the camera that I'm dealing with here um, is a, what they call a, a UVC camera. Um, I guess if it's a USB camera and it's a Logitech, you probably have a good chance to, to have it be compatible. And, um, yeah. So I don't know where to start. You know, I just got a bunch of different ideas. I'm uploading my video now, so I want it to end quickly, but um, it's nothing to do with this. Okay, so um, I don't know if it's under documentation or software. There, there's a couple things that are at, at play here uh, with your, uh, your Linux setup. And I'm printing out a couple of guides that kind of touch at them from different angles. People have different styles as to what they... Um, they do. This is doesn't look the way it normally does because I'm uploading. Come on. But I actually I don't need graphics for this. Um, let's see. Okay. Now what I ended up doing yesterday to get as far as um, I get this a little closer. Okay, maybe the web page. It's uh, hopefully that will be able to show up. Um, I was able to get video working in my other partition. Of course, I, it, it won't work here now yet because I haven't done the steps. And um, also, but I have I didn't get sound. <laughs> oh, that's a change of look. Anyway, so if you have this camera, this is my suggestion that you go to the latest uh, the section of the latest how-tos under documentation. It's uh, www.quickcamteam.net. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> And then uh, in the middle, latest how tos, and you just go like, click on the middle, and it may take a little, I don't know, but it doesn't take forever to load up. Come on. And some of these steps may be slowed down by uh, what I do. So, the, on the surface, the, the, it's kind of missing some context here, I, I guess that would be my criticism. I, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. The only the reason why I'm doing this because I want this to succeed, and but I have to. I'm trying to do these things. Uh, it's just I guess any regular user with a reasonable, but not uh, exceptional amount of uh, Unix skills or experience and how they perceive it. And I'm not too far away from being a new user to. Um, even though I've, I've been using it for eight years, I'm, I'm not too far away from being a new user to kind of just bring things up. So looking at this, I get the implication that I'm, uh, you know, I know from yesterday that I need this stuff, but without yesterday, I was wondering, you know, do I need this? Or I must. It, 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 there's an implication that I do, and I was still unsure whether I had a UVC camera. Um, so let's just go through the steps here, basically, and get past what we need to do. Uh, it's got a purpose here, but it's kind of like missing context, you know? It's like they need a basic, um, on the very first page, to say, 
And let me just go through the rundown, actually, as to what has to happen to get this to work. There's a number of different steps that are involved. Uh, step number one is when you plug the camera in, the Linux kernel uh, needs to detect both the camera and the, the audio device. That's just the Linux kernel just acknowledging that it's there. Okay, and then there needs to be a driver for that camera device, and I'm not sure about the audio, and of course yesterday I didn't get far enough on the audio. Uh, the driver that will allow it to function right. And then on top of that, there's something called Video for Linux 2 that by all appearances uh, seems to just work. Uh, that, that'll allow you to capture video. And then you need an application that'll actually use the video for Linux, that'll use the driver, that'll use the kernel to <laughs> to capture your video and your and your audio. And then of course you want to be able to save that file, save that video that you've made and that audio that you've made as, as a file. And you want to be able to do it with your camera. Right now, again, this is a Logitech um, 260. The, the, the disk and the documentation doesn't come with any support for Linux. So you're kind of stuck here. And if you're, uh, I bet you, if you probably, probably as a new user, if you, know, if you went in the discussion forum, you might get as a result what I'm, would, would hope if, you know, if one part of this video has any impact that it would kind of explain the rough outline of what you have to do. Now, a, lot of, not a, a lot of people aren't that patient, but um, <laughs> to see, but that's kind of basic. I mean, it's just basically what you have to, you have to, you kind of have to understand that stuff to get to work in Linux, maybe. I'm not sure if you really have to understand it. You probably could just follow a series of steps, but what happens sometimes with these things that people have done some pretty remarkable stuff I mean, the people that made this driver don't, I don't think, work for Logitech. I mean, it's got a Logitech logo up there. I don't, I guess they're not complaining about it, or I, I don't know, I don't know what the agreement is, but I don't think these people have any of the uh, hardware specs, and, and over the years, they've kept up. As the new camera came out, they would try to get it to work and uh, change their driver or make another driver. It's a, it's a real labor of love for the people that make this to get it to work. And so the end result is they want to explain everything. And, but sometimes from the new year's user's perspective, it's hard to absorb and, and, and find a context. So I, I don't want to um, – certainly I'm grateful to these people. I don't want to leave a black mark on a very good job that they've done here um, at all. Don't, don't get me wrong. I guess I'm just trying to – bridge the gap between the end user and the, the other person. Now, you know, you know, if you have Windows and you have a decent computer, unlike uh, my opinion for it, it's getting older over there, um, at least with Windows 7, it's just, it goes to a crawl. It's able to record, but just everything else is just <laughs> up the creek. But anyway, if you're using Windows in general, you, know, you go there, you pick up the disk, or even a Mac, and you stick the disk in, and it'll just kind of auto-run and install it for you, and when it's all done, you can click on a button, and, and you're up and running. It doesn't necessarily work that way. Uh, it no, it doesn't work that way in Linux. Someone might be able to make a, a shell script to automate all these processes. So I, I used to do that kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to end up having the time. I'm kind of getting bogged down doing all this other stuff, but I'm trying to get down, uh, in, at least on camera, uh, my experiences, what works, what doesn't work, and also, um, okay, I'll stop here.